Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today is going to be a very informative video, I hope. I'm going to tell you guys some of the things that I learned from getting our new built home done. Um, if you guys are new here, we moved here from California. My husband's work transferred us to the Dallas, Texas area. Um, we have been loving it. We have been just about a year in our home and we're just loving all of it. But a few things I've learned along the way and I just wanted to spread my little knowledge for you guys. The first one is, of course, moving in a new build home is fantastic, but you need to pay attention to your warranties. So before you move in, you're going to have two walkthroughs. Make sure you are blue taping everything and making sure that things are done to your standards. For that first walkthrough, I suggest bringing a measuring tape, a leveler, um, and if you can't do it, because we were in California, we were able to visit um, a few times to visit our home, visit our area that we lived in, but my parents, people that I trusted, did our walkthroughs for us, and they brought measuring tape, leveler, their own blue tape, all of those things. So you want a trusted eye looking out for you. So as far as warranties go, make sure you pay attention. Some things are only warranted for the very beginning, like landscaping. Our landscaping, I think, was only warranted for 20 days. So we did have a few things fixed before that time was up. Um, a sod patch in the backyard. We wanted that done, and then um, just check your plants in, all of that stuff, um, to make sure that it is just in good working repair and nothing's dying. I know my neighbor got one of his trees replaced, so you just want to check out everything. Make sure that they're nice, healthy, and they're going to grow for you. Um, some builders don't include landscaping and fencing. Um, ours did, and we are very happy because that can add up and be expensive. We're happy that they did. The next thing besides warranties you want to check out, I'm looking at my list down here, is um, uh, make sure that you are aware in your area. Like our area was very, 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 very new. So I didn't really dawn on me that we wouldn't have internet and not just somebody coming out and setting up the internet, but there were no I think I'm saying it right, fibers in the ground to even run the internet yet. So we didn't have internet for like two months, um, maybe longer, maybe it was like two and a half months. Our builders did give us like a hot spot thing, but those aren't like heavy duty. Um, we don't have traditional TV, we have like Netflix, Amazon, like all of the you know, apps. So yeah, we didn't have internet, but we may do. Uh, my husband does work outside of the home, so he was able to go to his offices and he did all of his stuff there. And um, we just, as far as at in our house, uh, my daughter's in elementary school, so they don't really have crazy things that they, they don't need to be like typing up or researching things on the internet. So we just made do for that first little bit in our home. But just be aware that you may not have internet and not just somebody coming out to connect things in your home. You may not even have like the fibers underground to run the internet yet. So all of that need to be done. Um, along with that, another thing you may not notice is I didn't notice that our address wouldn't show up. It wouldn't like be in the system and we wouldn't have mail service. We didn't have mail service for the first month and a half. So I would have to go to the post office and every few days and pick up things. And guys, I was ordering a lot of stuff. Like I had to furnish a whole home. So I ordered, we did bring a truckload of things. Um, we had movers and we had a truckload of stuff come from California which was a really big truck, but I also purchased a ton of stuff and to not have delivery service, we had to go like every couple days to the post office and they just had informed me that they it would take about a month and a half for us to get mail actually delivered our home. So for the first little bit, we just would go to the post office every couple days and pick up a ton of stuff and they just, when my husband would pick it up, they'd be like, boy, your wife does order a lot of things. And he's like, oh, she sure does. But we were furnishing a brand new home, so. 
along with that some things may get lost because your address is not going to show and even when they look it up it's going to say it doesn't exist so if you're bring, <laughs> moving into a brand spanking new area and like us we were one of the first six homes done so um it was really brand spanking new certain things like that may not register so you're gonna have to deal with a lot with the postal service but with patience um and things worked out <laughs> we got all of our packages and everything eventually worked out but something that i didn't think about before but something maybe to take into account um another thing is those first 20 days in your home you're still working very closely with your builder so make sure you are turning on the air conditioning even though if it's not in season having it run for a while turning on the um heat running your sprinklers just doing all the things so you can just make sure things are in working order um, a lot of your warranties will extend beyond that but working with our builders was easier because they were around like I said we didn't have neighbors when we first moved in so they were working on a house across the street so you could just pop your head out the window and I could be like oh um, we need this fix and they would send one of the contract guys over to do it so working with your builder those first 20 days or whatever your warranty states um, is super important because those things you're gonna get fixed quickity split another thing that um, I learned is all of your fixtures and appliances, everything is warranted. So a lot of stuff you're gonna have to make calls, um, submit paperwork so that you can extend those warranties and that you can have them for as long as you want them for the life of that appliance. Um, I think I had within the first couple of weeks to get all that paperwork done or to make those calls. So make sure that you are doing that so all your things are taken care of. Another thing that um, we learned is after, even after those 20 days, um, any claims or anything that you make, you're going to have to, with our builder, you put them in a portal. So um, things are going to happen. Like in one of our tiles, we got a small crack in a corner. You put the warranty in, you send in pictures, they'll schedule and send somebody out to come fix it. We had like molding in our... Um, on our cabinets that was a little bit off that I wanted fixed that took a while to have somebody come out and do so certain things are going to be extended um, with your before your first year which we just had and we had services in our house last week you're gonna have people coming out to fix things that you notice like your house is gonna settle so you may get little cracks in the tile or little cracks in the ceiling um, you're gonna have those services come out and fix those things as well it does give you peace of mind and you do feel better especially that first year that you're able to get a lot of that stuff fixed and it doesn't have to come at your cost and out of your pocket um, a lot of warranties will extend beyond that like 10 years for the roof the foundation all of that stuff you just want to make sure that you are paying attention to your uh, contracts and all your paperwork but um, any questions that you guys have for me down below just leave those I just wanted to get on kind of share with you those two big things that I notice with building a home um, you know internet cable um, not internet and meal services and just make sure I'm paying attention to those warranties those were probably like the most important things that we needed to know or were big factors in our first year of being in our new home but we are loving it um, we did a semi custom home so that's where you're gonna pick like a certain plan and um, your builder has like an umbrella of thick things that you can pick from um, but custom homes you have like the sky's the limit which those homes take a lot longer and of course cost a lot more money to do but we love our home i love all of the finishings and fixtures in it and we have loved adding new things and making our home truly ours 
So like I said, I hope that if you are in the middle of this process, you can get through it. Everything's going to turn out great. Um, I will also state that it is kind of hard buying a home when you don't live in the state. Like our closing, we did with a notary back at home a lot of in california um, a lot of the materials and fixtures and all of that stuff you're going to have to relay rely heavily on your um, builder or your realtor to send you pictures and to um, just keep you updated and keep you informed. Um, you're not going to get to touch a lot of those textiles because you need to cho choose them early on in the process, but you just got to trust that you got a good eye, and if you can have somebody come out and touch those materials before you pick them, that would work out fantastic as well. But thank you guys so much for um, watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye guys.